Hey guys, it's Landon with RH, and I am recording this video for my friend Mike. My name is Maximus. Uh, this is a video on M liters in CAD. Mike was asking me about M liters a little bit, so I thought I'd do a video. And this is the second time I get to do this video because uh, the first time I recorded it, about 12 minutes, uh, I had my screen recorder on the wrong monitor, uh, and I do that occasionally. So I feel I feel quite dumb. Uh, so hopefully I've got it on the right screen now. <laughs> so I've got Briggs Cat open here, and uh, we're gonna just draw us a quick polyline, and uh, so we can put some leaders in here. Okay, so if you go to uh, and, and a lot of we're gonna do this in Briggs Cat, but a lot of this also applies to Carlson Survey, uh, which is the other CAD program we use. Uh, so if you're in here, uh, if you're in Briggs Cat, you go to the Annotate tab on the ribbon. Um, you will see over here this whole panel, what they call panel here is for leaders. Um, and you can see uh, this button here lets you do some different kinds of leaders. Okay, we're gonna talk about the leader and the multi-leader here. So the leader is the old style, and there's nothing wrong with them. M leaders are better, but uh, leaders, I'll just show you. So you click that, and it asks you for the first point, which is always your arrow, arrowhead. Your second point, you hit enter. And then you enter your text. So this is leader text. And hit enter again. And then uh, it creates your leader with your text. Okay. <clears throat> now, a uh, couple things here. Uh, so one important thing about leaders is your arrow, which they call the leader. Okay, this is called the, the leader. It's the arrow. Uh, your leader and your text are separate when you when you use the leader command. So they're not grouped together in any meaningful way. So you can grab this and uh, move it around. Um, you can you can detach that. Uh, it 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 is moving. It is the leader does move when you move the text, but when you move the leader point, the text doesn't move. Okay, and then uh, when you click on this, this actually this doesn't. It just shows up as separate M text, right? And this shows up as a leader. So you, you can manipulate these two things independently, so I can make this 0.3 for the text height. Okay. Um, so, like I said, nothing wrong with this, but it is, it's different. Uh, these two things are kind of independent of each other. Okay. So what an M leader does is an M leader uh, groups these two things together so that they're associated with one another and it introduces a scale variable, which is very helpful. Um, and so at my shop, we always use M leaders. We don't use leaders. Now, the reason it's called an M leader or multi leader is because you can have more than one leader to a piece of text, okay, which is different than a leader. And so uh, we'll show you that. So uh, let's go ahead and delete this. Now we're going to draw an M leader instead of a leader. And you'll notice some differences here. Okay. So first thing is when you go to enter your text, instead of being at the command line, it pulls up the M text dialog, which is helpful. All right, so we have a graphical way to type our text. So we have the regular M text editor. Okay, now when I click the text or the leader, you can see both the text and the leader select. So they're a, they're a unit now in CAD, which is cool. Okay, and uh, the even cooler thing is uh, they now you now have the scale variable. Okay, and so what I would tell you is, so you can independently manipulate, let's say, the size of the arrowhead here. Okay, so if you come up here under your leader, you can say I want to double the size of the arrowhead, or you can come under your text and you can say I want to make the text half as big. Okay, we don't ever do that in my shop. Those are called property overrides. As, we, as a general rule, we don't use them and we should never use them when we're doing a leader. So we have these set up to standard percentages of the overall scale. Okay, so uh, your size of your text and your arrowhead on your leader should be set by your overall scale and by your, your uh, leader style, multi-leader style, okay? So if we're in a 10 scale uh, mapping product, this is 10. If we're in a 40 scale mapping product, it's 40. 100 scale, it's 100. So for example, this would be for 40 scale, okay? Now it may look big here, but you're gonna see when you go to, if you go to a viewport at 40 scale, this this will be set at the right size, okay? And you can adjust this, right? And you notice now if I move the text, the leader moves, right? Unlike what happened with the leader? Okay, so there there are um, uh, there are ways to 
set the different up, the different variables here that set these appearances. Okay, and we don't want to do that typically with the with the property we write as I mentioned. So the way you do that is with an in leader style, which is here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, open up our in leader styles, and so I've got two in here. This is the default. It's like your layer zero. It's called standard, and this is the one I made for this example. It's RH regular. Okay, and we can actually come in here and we can change things. Okay, um, so for example, let's make it our standard font here. Uh, so I'm going to go to textiles, and we're going to make a new textile, and we're going to call it RH regular, and we're going to set it to uh, doses. That's our font here at our reach. Okay, so that's the text style. So now we're going to come back to our in leader styles. Oh, now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and change that text under content. So this is for your arrow or your leader. This is for your content. I'm going to say, hey, make it 0 0.1, make it 0 0.15, and the text style I want to be RH regular. Okay, now those changes are saved. So now notice the difference here. So I'm going to do a standard. I'm going to hit standard and we're going to draw an M leader. Okay, I'm going to say this. This is a test. Okay. So there, there is an M leader with that style. Okay, with the uh, standard, the built in default standard style. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's do that again with the RH regular style. Okay. And you can see it's different, right? So it has the doses font and the text is twice as big, right? Okay. And you'll notice now. You can actually, if you want, you can actually use your match properties and you can copy one M leader style to another. So that's kind of cool too. Okay, but uh, as a general rule, when you're drawing M leaders like this, you should be using a defined style, typically a style that's defined by your, your organization or your company. Okay, and so we have M leader styles in our RH template that my folks should be using when they do that. So. You shouldn't have to draw a leader and then come over and, and mess with all these and they shouldn't have to come over here and mess with all these settings okay so the arrow size the landing distance uh, the uh, the justification and attachment point of the text the landing gap shouldn't have to do that okay but let's just go let's go ahead and go over a few of these uh, for you guys so when you're when you're setting up your own uh, in leader styles, you know what it's talking about. So the arrow size sets the size of the arrow. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, landing distance, the straight segment right here at the end of the angled leader. This is the gap, the text gap, and this is controlled by the text height. Okay. Those are the main, uh, the main uh, important uh, properties of an M leader. Now you'll notice. If I drag the M leader over, it automatically switches the uh, justification, which is what we want. But you can change the justification as well. And now, if you get an M leader super short, uh, your arrow will disappear at some point. And that's just built in. So you got to make your, if you don't see your arrowhead, you got to make that longer, make your leader longer. Okay, now another cool thing about uh, multi leaders, which makes them different from leaders, is you can actually add arrows to the same piece of text. You, there's two buttons here you can remove or add, so let's just show you how to do that. So as soon as I click it with that M leader selected, it's giving me another arrow now, right? Uh, which is cool, and you can just, you'll make arrows until you hit enter. Okay, so that's why it's called a multi-leader. Okay, now if you go back in, let's go in and, and uh, look at our M leader style again. You'll notice I have it constrained. You, I've got that first angle, it draws constrained. Okay, so you can set that. Um, you can set that here. Okay, so it's pretty handy. So uh, I just changed it to 15. Let me show you what that guy, what that looks like. So now, um, instead of having 45, I get 15 degree. Nope, it didn't work. Oh, because I'm on standard. Sorry. 
I should get 15 degree angle increments now when I go to draw that, yeah. So it's giving me 15 degree. So that just keeps your leaders a little cleaner. All right, so there you go. That's the difference between leaders and in leaders and shows you a little bit about how to work with in leaders. We use in leaders at RH, not regular leaders because uh, multi-leaders have some definite advantages. Uh, there's some other uh, things you can do here in BricsCAD with multi-leaders. I won't cover them in this video. Maybe we'll do another video uh, when I get time on that. So, all right guys, thanks for watching.